Okay, this is it. This is the big one, KMSC Pro-Am. I am shaved and tapered. I got the 100 breasts this morning, and um, I'm nervous, but I am also more confident than I have ever been, and, and that's a little scary in and of itself. Um, the goal today is to be patient with my pullouts because I'm really good at those, so there's no reason to rush them. Be patient with the first couple of strokes off every 25, and then quick hands and quick head for the rest of the 25. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I was right next to Will Lacone in this race, and throughout this meet, I was really happy with my dives. Good pull off the block, good entries into the water, pretty clean. But in this race, I was just too long on the pullouts. They were very nice, nice distance, good speed, but just held on to them a little bit too long. Four strokes into this wall. Uh, turns were good in this race. I liked my stroke. I was getting forward well. The head was coming down. The hands were going out, maybe not quite as quickly as I wanted them to. Hand speed is something I've really worked on and still have more work to do. That first 50 right there was a 25-3, just too slow. Got to take more than four strokes out and six strokes back and six strokes again on this third 25. But again, I like the stroke. And when I saw Will out of the corner of my eye underwater here, I was like, yes, I'm, I'm hanging. But he was just cruising and six strokes into the finish. It just wasn't quick enough. Fifty-four one zero. Um, needless to say, not the time I was expecting. And I got out of that race. I wasn't even that tired. I I, I did about a hundred cool down, and I felt like I was good to get out. Um, and so I, I was just way too too patient, too cautious with that whole freaking race. I mean, four six six six. What is that? I, the the good news is. I've got a lot to improve upon and I've just, I've really got to get out after it. And I think on that fourth 25, I was looking out of my left eye, uh, seeing Will and I was going step for step with him, dolphin kick, pull down. And I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm right next to Will Lacone. And, um, you know, he was just cruising and, um, that is not, <laughs> that is not what I need to do. So back at the hundred final, let's do this better. Let's swim different. <laughs> okay, finals of the 100. This was a loaded field. Uh, Will Lacone again, so that was cool to race him twice. And then three more pros. Uh, so it was it was, it was was pretty quick field. And the goal was to go out with them, uh, to be out real fast. I wanted to be out under 24-7, which is how I took it out last year. And so here I was five strokes out and then seven strokes back. But that was only good for a 24-9, so a little disappointing. And I liked my strokes. I felt like I did a good job technique-wise, getting the hands out there, getting the head down strong. Um, and on this second 50, uh, I brought it back about the same as I did last year. So out slower, back about the same. And uh, I just did not have the speed that I needed to finish this race or start it. <laughs> So 53.99, at least I got under 54, right? Um, uh, to my bone, I know I can go 53 low uh, and certainly faster than 53.9. Um, I think maybe it had something to do with my with take, with take tapering too long in the weight room. Um, it, I did six weeks just like the pool, which is what I did last year. Uh, but last year was all just heavy powerlifting strength training um, that maybe broke me down more. And and so maybe I shouldn't have tapered that quite as long. That's my best guess right now. I'm going to have to get back with Kevin and, and see what his thoughts are. But, um, you know, I would have put money on that first 50 being faster than 24.9. I really got after that race from start to finish. I mean, there was very little patience there with the pullouts or the first couple of strokes. I mean, I wanted it 
And um, it's so it's really disappointing that that first 50 still wasn't where it needs to be. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I may not have pure raw speed right now, but I do have DPS speed and that's what I need for the 200, which is today. So uh, the goal is to cruise the morning, but still go fast. Uh, I'd like to be um, two strokes, three, 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 four, four, five, five, and hit two double O. That would be awesome. Last year I was two Oh two eight on, I think 27 strokes. So anything faster than two Oh two eight is probably pretty good. Um, and, and then we'll pick it up in the evening and see what we got. So here we go. All right. Prelims of the 200 breast. I love this race, this particular race at this meet more than any other race of the year. It is so much fun being shaved and tapered and being able to, to have a bit of fun with this and go real long on these pullouts. Uh, two strokes on the first 25, three, three strokes uh, for the next 425s. The plan on this uh, 200 originally was to go three strokes through the first 100 and then start to pick it up a little bit and, and go like four, five, five, six, and see if I could get under two minutes, keeping it pretty, pretty easy. But I felt so good on this first hundred here that I decided to keep going uh, another three strokes on the fifth 25 coming up in just a second. And then keep it at four strokes the rest of the way. I was really happy with my stroke on this also because unlike in previous years where I tend to sort of settle low uh, and, and be less aggressive after doing those long pullouts, on this I felt like I got after it with my head and my hands much better than I have in the past. But on this 625 right here, two strokes in I pulled my left calf and obviously it didn't stop me from, from finishing the race. But I definitely noticed it. It nagged me a bit the rest of the last 225s. And then as we'll see later, all the way through the rest of the meet. But all in all, this was a phenomenal swim. I, I was just so happy with this. And the distance off those walls, you can tell that the work I've been doing in the weight room with calf raises, deadlifts, squats, the different kinds of pullovers and pull-up work I've been doing, it really paid off. That was amazing. You know, I was hoping to go about two double O with 29 strokes. My dream goal was to break two minutes. And if you counted, that was only 26 strokes. And I was two double O, two O. I mean, ah, almost under two minutes with three fewer strokes. I absolutely would have been under two with 29 strokes. Oh my gosh, that would have been perfect. If it weren't for the fact that about the 150, I pulled the, the very top of my left calf. And you won't notice it in the video, but um, it's it's been tender since. And I don't know how it's gonna affect finals tonight, um, but we're gonna go find out. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that I can warm it up and, and get through and, and push through any pain, but it's gonna have an effect. Um, just hopefully I can, I can ignore the pain and, and hit that 157, <coughs> that 157 six that I got to hit to qualify for nationals. Let's go find out what I got. Okay. Finals of the 200, as you can see by my limp, the calf issue did not get fixed before this. In fact, it was so bad that I couldn't do any breaststroke kicking in warm up. Um, I thought about declaring a false start, but I had, I'd worked so hard to get to this point and I knew I was capable of maybe even a 156, but certainly a 157.6, which was my goal time that the Nationals cut, that I had to at least give it a shot and see see what I could do. But honestly, I my confidence was so shaken at this point, I figured it was uh, not going to happen. It is your top seed, James White. So... On this, uh, the goal was to, to add a few more strokes, but not too many, because 
Uh, I was still worried about my calf. And so I wanted to rely more on my pullouts and see if those could kind of get me through this race with just a little less swimming than I was planning on doing. And so I was three strokes on that first 25 and then four, four, four here through the, through the hundred. And I was actually feeling so good that even without the calf issue, um, I stuck with four strokes on, uh, on the fifth 25 and then only went to, to five, five and six. And, uh, I'm thankful for having Will Lacone to race again and Alexander Karpenko there above me, uh, who's a Ukrainian national teamer because, uh, focusing on chasing them and running them down <laughs> I mean, which in the beginning was a possibility, but you can see Will just really pulls ahead in this race. Um, but focusing on them, it really helped keep my attention off of my calf. And without them, if I was way ahead in this race, uh, I don't know what I would have done. Um, so anyway, this was a, a really good race. I was happy with it, except for my technique. I feel like I I didn't keep the, the aggressive stroke that I had in the morning into finals. And maybe that's because I was so concerned about the calf. Uh, but that's something that I still need to fix. And, but otherwise this was a really good race and I was really happy with how it turned out. And it will be the win for Will Lacombe, 152 to 53. City Playoffs, Will Lacombe taking that top spot. He's followed in by Alessandro Carpenco and then rounding up to top three, James Fight. One fifty-seven one. I, are you kidding me? That. I mean, obviously it's the next day, but I have been watching and rewatching that, that video. Uh, I, I can't believe it. Um, you know, my calf, I hobbled up to the block. I really thought there was a good chance I was going to have to pull up in the race and finish out with like a, a, a two ten. um, adrenaline thankfully took over and I was, I was able to push through it, but I was definitely still thinking about it. Oh my, one fifty seven. I mean, a new best time by almost a second, under the Nationals qualifying time by half a second, and right on the cusp of one fifty six. I mean, <laughs> just wow. Um, it, I, I I have no words for this. I I can't even believe. I uh, you know, twenty. My last Nationals was in 2003, two, no, 2002. And I got, I was second to last in, in the 200. And, and that's how I finished my career. Like second to last in nationals. And, and, and I thought it was over. Like, <laughs> You know, I fought for so many years to, and it's just failure, 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 failure. Every time. Fucking allergies, man. And now here I am. <laughs> like, this is, all I ever thought was this is impossible. And now here I am. And like, I can go 156. I could have gone 156 if my calf was good. I know it. And, and I think I, I know I can go 155 and that is just such an amazing feeling. And I can't wait. I, anyway, I've got, I've got the 50 I've got to go in for. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I'm not expecting too much, even after last night's success it. For, like I said, after the hundred, for whatever reason, I don't have, I don't have raw speed right now. And I, I got to figure that out why I think it has something to do with starting my, my taper in the, in the gym too early. But, um, if, if this goes really well, I'll show you the video. Uh, last year I was 24 one 
I don't think I'll be close to that, but if I am, I will show you the video and we will talk about it. <laughs> but let's assume that, that this is it. And um, I will see you guys at the next episode. Until then, good luck with your swimming. Swim different.